Hi, today I'm going to show you how to create an application that will encrypt and decrypt a string. Okay, begin from creating a form. We will create a simple login form. Okay, let's go to code. Add using system security cryptography to your using statements. Now, first, what we need to create is a key so let's create a private static string key <coughs> key sorry the key we're going to use needs to have 32 characters so input some key with 32 characters As has 12 so 24 <coughs> 24 36 now delete 4 okay we have a key now create the same private private static string this will be the four for vector is to initialize the crypto crypto service and it needs to be 16 char characters long long sixteen <coughs> okay now create private string private static string Encrypt. Encrypt. Str and in it, string text. So this will be the text for encryption. And now, create a byte array. No, sorry. Byte array. Let's name it plain. Plain text bytes. Equals system text ASCII encoding ASCII get bytes. And this will be the uh, text. Yes, this uh, string text. Now, let's create a script service provider. Name it equals new as script service provider. And here, as we need first to set the block size. One block size in our case will be 100, 100, 128. This is it. So now, let's set the key size. The key size is 256 now the key so as key equals system text uh, ASCII encoding ASCII get bytes from our key uh, key now the for vector equals system text ASCII encoding ASCII get bytes from the for the if e now let's set the padding so as padding equals padding mode the most common I common is pkcs PK 7 uh, it's actually used everywhere now let's set the mode as mode equals cipher mode CBC it's also common use now create e crypto transform 
crypto transform let's name it crypto equals new equals crypto transform crypto transform where is it uh, sorry e crypto transform uh, no something's wrong. oh yeah as and as now create encoder encryptor sorry encoder, encryptor and in here we'll create the encryptor from as that key and as that for now let's create another byte array this byte will be the encrypted so the encrypted message of course now encrypted equals crypto 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 transform final block <coughs> the input so the plain text bytes or however you called it input offset always zero and the length will be plain text that length length okay now we have already encrypted this encrypted text yes now because it's string so we need to return something that will be as this string that will represent this string so return system uh, actually not system yeah system system text ascii encoding ascii get uh, string from the Whoa, sorry. He will be convert to string, not string, to base sixty four string. And the encrypted. So <coughs> we have already our encrypt method. Now as we need every encrypt we need also the decrypt method because we want to read the password uh, or whatever we encrypt encrypted so public stra static string decrypt and here is string encrypted and here as the same as the byte encrypted bytes encrypted bytes yes equals convert from base from base 64 string encrypted Now let's create a script service provider. And as there we need all, all this to set so block size key padding mode just copy it. And here create a crypto transform crypto equals as create decryptor and here as key the same and as four and now byte array uh, secret 
silhouette equals crypto transform crypto uh, transform final block uh, it is encrypted bytes and offset zero encrypted bytes that length and here we will uh, return the value so return return uh, system text system whoa system text ASCII encoding ASCII get string from secret okay oh one more thing the e crypto transform is represented by e disposable so we need to dispose of it if we want it to run correctly So crypto dispose. Okay. Now we have both encrypt and decrypt methods. So now I'm going to show you how to store the password in the safest place. Yes, the safest place from users is the registry, system registry. We will create a new registry subkey and key that holds the password, of course, encrypted password because, you see, you can store it in a file, text file, but there is risk that user can delete the file and then the application will actually run not correctly so the registry is actually the most safest place because users don't want to mix up something in the registry because system fails after that So. In public form one, create registry key, name it equals registry, current user, and now set no create subkey. In here we will create a site uh, the subkey. I'm going to name it encryptor. 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 Okay. And now, air key. Set value. Here the name of the value, so password. And the object. Yeah, the object. Okay, create here forgot string pass equals encryptor uh, encrypt encrypt and let's add my password my password and here we will store the string pass. So this means whenever we the form will be opened if the registry key named encryptor is actually created and holds the value password it will just override the password as we change this yes but if there is no registry key with this subkey and this value it will just create the new subkey and create the new value named password okay now uh, it's almost the end so here we will create now the login function so if text box one the text is equal this is the user ID so I'm going uh, to Davisco one and now if mm, no actually first create registry key uh, registry key Every key equals registry uh, current user and now uh, open subkey 
encrypte encrypte you don't want to make any mistakes in here because then it might be difficult to reset yes and here a air key or however you call it your registry key get value and this will be the name so password also uh, we will set it in a string so convert to string and here let's set let's say string pass equals okay now if textbox 2 text so textbox dot, that holds the password is equal to decrypt pass then we'll show a message box message box saying that the password is correct so correct password else we show we'll also will show the message box though not correct password but incorrect and the same with user now let's see if it works yep something is wrong with the vector okay or it's either too long or it's too short it needs to be 16 characters 16 characters let's see now yep now it's okay my mistake so let's see if the okay the password is <laughs> of course the first so davisco1 user password my password correct password as you can see the encrypting and decrypting decrypting is working correctly now to show you that the registry key was created we go to here we have our sub key encryptor and we have the password with encrypted password yes okay so thanks for watching and see you later